Hello, um, I am going to do a review of Ghost Rider Spirit uh, of Vengeance, starring Nicolas Cage, Carrion Hines, Violente uh, Placido, Idris Elba, and Johnny Whitworth. You know, no one liked the first Ghost Rider movie. It's known as, like, you know, the worst reviewed superhero movie ever. Um, the, you know, it, just everything about it sucked. Now, I don't know why they would make a, a second Ghost Rider. But, I mean, some idiot just decided, hey, I, I, I want to make a sequel to that. This movie had terrible marketing. I, haven't, I didn't even see the trailer for this movie. But, I mean, this movie, I, I, I couldn't believe it is so much worse than the first one. The first one was, was not very good on any level. But, I mean, this was just terrible. Now, this movie is about, like, you know, Johnny Blaze fucking, um... He's like, it, it like has nothing to do with the first one at all. But he's like, you know, still, he has that uh, curse in him still. And, uh... He's just, like, you know, hiding out in this just place in, like, Europe or whatever. Now, a character played by Idris Elba, um, you know, comes to him and says, look, you need to save this boy because he's, you know, almost gonna, he, he might be controlled by the devil or whatever. And, you know, Johnny Blades has a little bit of the devil in him, and that's where he gets his power, and maybe he can help out. This is from the director, this is from the, the pair, their, their, their name is, they call themselves Neville Dean slash Taylor. They're two guys, and... They directed the Crank movies, which I haven't seen, but they also directed Gamer. And I can honestly say they are the worst action directors I have ever seen in my life. Worse than Michael Bay. Michael Bay may work, may, uh, I mean, he, Michael Bay directs action better than them. Their style of editing and action is totally, I, I don't know, I don't know why they think this is a stu cool style, but if you've seen Gamer, oh my god, that was the, 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 the most, the, the just the most painful action experience in an action movie ever because I don't know why if they think it's cool they have a terrible all their like camera angles are horrible like you know they're always like in this corner of like someone's face and then like they like have they like fast forward and then rewind and then fast forward and then and they're just, they're just there's no absolutely no room for for you to breathe uh, for you to breathe at least in the first Ghost Rider movie there was you know some time where you can re relax and just watch the camera sit still on someone and you know watch them have a conversation and there's a little character development but I, there it, in this one it's like there's no every time like a, con a, a regular conversation is going on and it's, it's and done in this weird way where it just distracts you and there's no room to breathe at all and the action scenes are also directed horribly it's like on fast forward and it's i don't know it's like a montage of fucking action scenes the writing in this movie is just terrible i mean the dialogue is totally laughable uh, and, and, I mean, at least it's it sometimes... The only good thing about this movie is sometimes Nicolas Cage is unintentionally funny. Yes, he does have some, you know, of his Nicolas Cage moments. I wish he would just go back to doing good movies, but, I mean, you know, if you, if you like The Wicker Man, maybe you can just rent this movie, not watch the whole thing, just fast-forward to the parts where Nicolas Cage is going crazy. And honestly, The Wicker Man was way more entertaining than this one. I mean, this, one, this movie might have had better, you know, writing than The Wicker Man, but I would much rather watch The Wicker Man than this pile of shit. The villains are horrible. I mean, none of them are at, 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 at all, like, convinced, like, you know, menacing or anything. I mean, they're, the, especially, like, you know, the minions are just fucking laughable. And also, the special effects. I mean, the, fir the first movie had sp probably worse special effects. But still, I mean, they can't do, f like, who, if there was actually a skeleton that was, you know, alive and had fire on its head, would it look like a, like, what I could make on, you know, my fucking iMovie? I, I, and you can't even make special effects on iMovie, I don't think. But, like, still, it, it's like, it's like this colored, this, you know, ter it has terrible colors, like, completely orange, and around this, like, 3D, like, you know, skull, it's like, it looks like I'm watching, like, a project that someone made for science class, like, a, a science demonstration or something. Oh, yeah, needless to say, I hated this movie. I'm gonna give it a 3 out of 10. Worst of the year so far, I, at least I did get a couple chuckles out of it, but, um, just because Nicolas Cage was so weird. But, yeah, it, you know, it, it, I think, I hope that they're trying to make it laughable, Nicolas Cage laughable, because... You know, they're, they're like, scenes of humor where it was so, like, I, like, Nicolas Cage was just, like, you know, all acting weird and stuff for no reason at all. I don't know. Um, yeah, 3 out of 10. Just don't see this movie. I saw Safe House. I'd give that a 7 out of 10. So see Safe House if you really want to see anything. Because, honestly, everything else looks like it sucks. Like, The Vow and This Means War. I haven't seen those two movies, but, I don't know. See an Oscar movie, because before Oscar season comes out, basically, you know, it's January and February. You don't need to see anything. Besides, if, unless you've seen all the Oscar movies. So, bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye.